What's going on fellas, today I'm going to cover the most annoying problem for y'all which is race cancelled and it's the most broad spectrum problem a lot of you are facing on weekly, monthly or even daily basis. So it's a lot of things that go into this, it's not just content manager, it's not just the game, it's not just the mods. So I'll try to be as clean as simple and let's go uh, very quickly to everything so this video doesn't go too long. So the first thing that we're gonna go is we're gonna leave content manager for now and what we're going to do is we're going to go to search and type windows updates. Now a lot of you I've joined into many computers remotely with TeamViewer or any desk and a lot of you guys have windows updates. You can see I have uh, and this is a very important one. I just uh, find out that they have a windows update. It's for Nate framework so make sure to always Always update your windows it has system updates it has net framework updates they're very important next is a lot of you don't have visual C++ redistributables the runtimes they're very important as well it just takes a few minutes download it I'll leave all links down in the description make sure to check them out I'll try to make it as simple as possible for you guys so get these ones download them run the install bat and it's gonna go through all of them now the third thing is a lot of you don't have the direct X the latest version so make sure to get that install it and you're good to go now the fourth thing fellas is the antivirus programs and uh, let me tell you something the last two times i joined with any desk to fix uh two fellas previously their games was like last two days the same problem was happening to both of them and what was that luckily they all had the same antivirus program that's why i knew what the problem was it was bitdefender so whatever you're using could be bitdefender could be a vira could be a vast whatever antivirus that you put on top of windows defender guys delete these crappy antiviruses you don't need them you just need one two videos about windows defender how to use windows firewall and you'll be good to go trust me you will be good to go you can use vpn but there are also web browser uh, defenders and uh, whatever that are preventing you from downloading stuff even the antivirus uh, was preventing him from uh, updating or installing any updates when you go to settings and custom shader patch that's uh, one of the reasons why a lot of you guys couldn't update because the antivirus is blocking where do you think the content manager is downloading stuff from you click install it downloads from the internet and installs the file, basically the patches. And what happens is uh, the antivirus is blocking that download because it thinks it's something suspicious. This is number one. Number two is the Bitdefender was deleting files from the Seto Corsa itself. And then after you, let's say you don't play a Seto Corsa for one, two months, you come back to the game, then something's gone. You try to launch the game, you get error. This is why these programs are crappy. All you can do guys is just use Windows Defender or you can use the Windows Firewall. And what you can do is you can go to advanced uh, security of Windows Firewall, you can go to inbound rules and you can see a set of Corsa and a set of Corsa servers, they're allowed. If they're not here, and in case the set of Corsa or AC server is missing from here and the firewall is blocking them, you can always guys watch a one video, very quick uh, tutorial of Windows Defender, how to add exclusions to the firewall. It's very simple, you just right click to inbound rules, you make a new rule and you just add the program or whatever, but I'm not gonna go over that, uh, for me it's pointless, so let's not prolong the video. Now another thing about the antivirus when you remove your antivirus and so on make sure to come to steam library right click on your game and then go to local files and verify integrity of game files because if your antivirus has deleted files from the game you can restore them by verifying another thing that i want to mention very quickly fellas is even though windows updates do come with the net framework it's always a good idea to double check and manually update the microsoft net framework now after the antiviruses and everything Next thing guys is graphic drivers. Now I'm using Nvidia. If you're using AMD, make sure to download the AMD software. If you don't have it, which is I think was like adrenaline mode nowadays and whatever, make sure here you have installed drivers. Yesterday I had drivers that were not updated. Make sure you're using the latest drivers. A lot of you are seeing guys, you haven't updated your windows from one year or your drivers from half a year. So make sure to keep everything updated. This is super important. Everything to be on point. So then you can mess with the game. Another thing that I forgot to mention, fellas, is to make sure your disk drive, especially the Windows one, has space. Because if it's on red and there's almost no space, then your Windows won't be able to operate normally. And especially if, uh, let's say, your Seto Corsa, whatever is installed, if it's installed on a different drive, make sure that drive also has space so it can run the game itself. Now, once we have absolutely everything about your system and Windows covered, we're going to move into 
content manager. Now, a lot of you have seen, you go into the game, you're using a single monitor, but for rendering mode, you've selected Oculus Rift. Guys, Oculus Rift rendering mode is for VR. Make sure your video settings are correct, guys. I've joined a lot of uh, computers and I see absolutely bizarre stuff. Please don't be lazy, guys. Make sure to pay attention to your video settings. Check what you're using. Check your video settings. Make sure everything is set correctly. You cannot enter with just a normal monitor and select for rendering mode a VR or something else, right? So make sure everything is correct here. The next thing is using the latest versions of CSP, which uh, public is 179. If you have preview, use preview. Then as well, after the CSP, make sure when you go to weather effects make sure you're using either the latest pure version which is paid or the soul 2.2.7 and when you go to drive i'm using the new content manager so the new controller as we talked about in my new videos covering them is right here make sure the controller is 2.4 and uh, if you want to make sure you've installed them correctly because a lot of you don't a lot of you drag and drop and that's a huge mistake make sure to watch my 100% rain fix video i showcase how to uninstall so pure csp and install them cleanly and correctly that's the right way another reason why your game might be crashing could be the applications now there's many reasons for applications one you didn't install it properly two the application is very old or no longer supported three the application is new but your CSP version is too old to support it so make sure your CSP is updated and make sure to disable and check if your game is running without the applications then you can turn them on and see if your game is crashing you can even go to documents folder of Acero Corsa and check the logs to see if the application itself is causing the game to crash. Now, as we've covered being updated regarding Windows, graphic drivers, and even the content manager itself, let's move to your most favorite No Hezi. And like, no, I wanna play No Hezi, No Hezi, No Hezi. Okay, you wanna play No Hezi? Trust me, these servers are heavily modded. And when you go into any server that uses modded cars, or is just very modded, you have problems. Why? Because a lot of you guys don't know to keep your game updated and so on. So another thing is, I want before I jump into even covering No Hazy, I wanna make a big disclaimer. Now a lot of you fellas will not be able to play. I've seen a lot of guys thinking they can uh, go with a computer from 2010 and run these servers. They are insanely RAM heavy, and not to mention GPU and CPU heavy. You need at least an okay PC, at least an okay. You can look at the minimum requirements of no hezi and you will see what I'm talking about. Look, 16 gigs of RAM, I recently updated from 16 to 32 gigs. These traffic servers, your computer has to render every single traffic car and also player car. And a lot of their cars that they're using in the modded servers, they use 2K, 4K skins. And these skins, your computer and graphic card to render, take a lot. They're literally burning your GPU. So guys, I'm sorry, but not every one of you have seen a lot of people try with crappy PCs to join Nohezi. Sorry guys, there's nothing we can do about it. If your computer is crap, there's no fix, there's no solution, there's no miracle or magic pill we can find to help you play these servers or whatever server you want to go in. So make sure you meet the requirements, even Nohezi posted them. And they also say install everything manually, fellas. So Nohezi has gotten smart the last few months. Now, before we go and cover some complex complicated issues I want to cover something else and that is you need all DLCs just in case to avoid any issues and that's even said by no hezi themselves so if you want to play that much in no hezi or any drift junkies whatever servers guys you need a lot of the DLC so let's go into a set of Corsa real quick now the best thing you can do fellas is you see all the, these DLCs right here? A lot of servers use the Japanese pack. And a lot of you make this mistake. You buy the base game, then you buy Japanese pack. Guys, you will save twice the money not buying the stock game, buy the Ultimate Edition. You say, oh my god, it's 40 euros, 40 euros, blah, blah, blah. Just wait for big holidays. It goes on to crazy discount. I even made a video immediately when I saw that game drop to 7 euros the full ultimate edition or you can also be smart guys and go into third-party websites and you can see on kinguin or g2a you'll probably be something like this something similar price it's 70 euro so if you want to buy the ultimate edition it's 70 euro and let me tell you something before one month or month and a half i checked this game and it was actually seven goddamn euros seven euros you can imagine how much this game has jumped for one month now it's crazy and I'm telling you, it's absolutely ridiculous. So wait for big holidays, 
and hit the best deal. Wait for the game to drop and you'll be good to go. Get all DLCs and be bulletproof. Now another common problem fellas is the Steam API crash and this is by far the easiest one. A lot of servers do use Steam authentication and when you try to join the online servers your game might crash and says Steam API. Now how to fix this? This is very simple. You've probably opened Content Manager, you forgot to open your Steam. Now you need your Steam open so make sure you open the Steam, run it and once your Steam is open you can try again, you can restart Content Manager. Another Another thing that you might have forgot is to go to settings, go to content manager and then go to general. And you can see I have my Steam profile hooked up to content manager. So if you don't have your Steam profile hooked up, you can always click uh, change or add or whatever is it here. And you can hook up your Steam profile to content manager. So that way when you join online servers, they will be able to authenticate your account and check if it's valid and you'll be able to join the servers. Now a lot of you that don't want to deal with modded cars or just in general modded server, you can still go and play Shutoko with traffic and this is just an example server from AO Boys. it is using Kunus cars so you can find them here that still means that some of the cars might require DLCs so keep in mind you see how important it is to have the DLCs guys so keep this in mind just get the DLCs otherwise you'll pay twice or three times more if you buy the stock game and then uh, look for to buy all the other DLCs one by one now fellas let's jump into some issues with modding the game so you can play in this mod service now a lot of you installed by drag and drop and let me tell you what's the problem with massive big tracks the problem is that when you install Shutoku Revival Project or FDR track or any other track even Union Island or the GTA tracks whatever is as long as it's very big content manager does have unpacking and 7-zip uh, integrated but guys content manager just can't manage to unpack this data properly and when it installs with drag and drop it is missing some of the files or doesn't manage to install all the files properly so what happens is it shows you that you have the track you try to join the game crashes why I'll tell you why when you drag and drop and as I mentioned content manager didn't ma manage to install absolutely every single file from the folder or the, the track itself what happens is you can go and play single player everything works you go to join the multiplayer server the server's files does not match with your files that's why I tell install manually so you can make sure if content manager makes any error during installation this is going to be absolutely avoided if you install manually. How you do that, you right click on this folder, you can also do that for the cars even here, even here. You right click on this track, click folder, then you go into the folder. This is the fastest way to access by the way guys. We're going to go back to tracks because all the tracks are sorted right here. What you can do is you delete this track, whoops, I'm going to delete this track, boom. And now this is how you clean up, by, by the way, this is how you can reinstall SRP or any car that is making you problems and I'll explain to you how to navigate and uh, by the method of exclusion and elimination you can figure out which car is making or which mod is making you problems. Then you grab this folder right here and you drop it in the folder fellas. You see you can drop it here boom in the folder this is how you reinstall the SRP. Okay as I've showed you how to reinstall the track let me show you how to reinstall cars. That is super simple fellas super simple. The problem is guys that if you want to reinstall all these cars right here that will take some quite some time. However no hazier big servers they have FTP servers so let me show you something uh, that is very cool and is time saving when you delete one of these cars you can see they have added install missing content so as they have uploaded their content into the internet connected it with FTP or something uh, you can use the content manager to install the car for you so you click install missing content you click here on top and you see the car is installing and this is the fastest way possible literally the fastest way and this will save you a lot of time guys then once you install guys you see you even have updates you can click updates and let me tell you something when you install massive car packs or you install all the cars from content manager what will happen is the content manager might still tell you that they're missing some of the cars which is not true that happens because content manager as i mentioned before cannot update data properly so how to fix that is you restart content manager itself we're gonna close this boom we're gonna open content manager again and then once you restart content manager you have nothing missing now let's go ahead and show you how to install manually stuff real quick uh, cars and car packs now every single server guys whenever you go to play there and you're missing cars and you want to install stuff, you will find their downloads in their Discord servers. Almost all the servers have this. So when you go to downloads, you can see you'll find all the car packs, everything you need. Just look for downloads category. All the servers leave their links. Just for showcase purposes, 
I have uh, just one traffic pack right here. And uh, the bad news, fellas, is that if you want to, as I mentioned before, if you want to delete all the cars and you're not sure which car is causing you problems, you will have to go through every single one of them. Just right click, then go one folder backwards, delete, right click, go one folder backwards and do this for every single car. It's very easy if it's just a drift server, right? Because let me show you something. When it's a drift server, you go to any car pack, they, they're just one whole car pack, right? Or multiple. But when you go to the folder, you go one folder backwards, you can see everything is WDTS. And it's super simple. You select all the cars, boom, delete, and then watch. Super easy reinstall, guys. This is insanely fast because you literally deleted all the cars with just one click because you can locate all the folders but that is not the case with the traffic servers because they use single cars made by different people and etc etc except like some big servers that have their own branded cars now let's go quickly on how to install manually so what we're gonna do fellas is we have a traffic pack right what you want to do is I'm using WinRAR, by the way, I'd strongly suggest you use WinRAR because it just saves you time. Uh, compared to 7-zip, with 7-zip you have to extract, but with WinRAR you can directly open the archive and you can access the files. Now, how to install cars and tracks manually? You go to a set of courses, you go to content, the tracks are here in tracks, the cars are here in cars. So we go to cars because we're going to install the cars, right? Now, when you open this traffic pack, you see there's also drivers. So in that case, we'll have to go one folder backwards because in content we have driver, right? So they've listed all the files into their specific uh, folders, which is very good. They've packed everything and made them into their designated folder. And this is very easy. What you want to do is you grab these folders and just paste them here. Now you wait and it will ask you to replace. And there you go. Now a big disclaimer, guys, when you're installing the car packs and stuff and you had the cars and they make you problems make sure you delete them first then you install the files and the, the cars again you don't replace them because if you replace them it's gonna make a problem like i like i showed you earlier if you replace them because i had them the the reason why i replace is because i already have them and my cars are working but if your cars are not working and they make you problems the mods itself delete them and make fresh clean install so that's that about the mod installing now let me show you how to figure out when a car is making you problems. So we're gonna join this server and I want you to pay very, very good attention. We're gonna look at the bottom corners. Now the right corner here shows the custom, the version of Acero Corsa and the shader patch version that you're using. So if your content manager didn't manage to install the latest versions, you figure out here that you're using something old like 173 and something like that. Now on the bottom left corner, it's showing you that currently I'm loading the track. So if your game crashes during loading the track, first indication is that your track is not working properly now we're loading the cars i want you to pay very very carefully attention now let's say our game crashes on this bmw m5 competition f90 right if the game on your screen freezes during loading that specific car this is the perfect indication that the game is crashing because of this car so the first thing you want to do is delete that specific car install it cleanly and freshly and see if that will fix the problem if not delete all the cars from this specific server and reinstall them again. This is how you figure out by the method of elimination and exclusion which car is making you the problem. And of course, if they all make you problems, just reinstall everything cleanly. Now I'm gonna cover one issue that a lot of people also had and I fixed it by just deleting the documents folder. I have not dig enough to know which exact file guys is causing that so sorry for that if you delete this folder keep in mind you lose your video settings and so on you so you have to make them again but you can make a picture whatever and save them up and then load them again my logic behind this folder is that for the computer to save time because there is a lot of options content manager that uh, want to render stuff and save the data so it can load the track or cars faster next time you launch the game or join the same server is that it's saving old information when you update everything there's new information when you try to launch the game the data doesn't match because it's trying to uh, render the old data that's why when you delete the folder you can freshly and cleanly boot up the game and render it again that's my logic it could be absolutely incorrect but that's just my thinking after i cover this you can try deleting the documents folder uh that might solve the issue but if you have given up and you want to in uninstall the whole game what you can do is you can not only delete this folder as well but if you go and uh, let's say you decide to delete the game right very important information when you uninstall the game from steam 
Steam will only uninstall what have been installed before. So whatever Steam installs, it's gonna uninstall the same thing. Now you probably didn't understand me what I mean, right? Let me tell you something. When you go back to Common on Acero Corsa and you delete the game from Steam, this folder will still be here. You ask yourself, wait, I deleted the game. Why is this still here? I'll tell you why. Every single mod guys, application, whatever you've installed, will stay in this folder. And what happens is a lot of you guys go in circles because you uninstall the game from Steam, then you don't come here and delete the game with all the mods that are sitting here, the, the buggy mods that have not been installed correctly and they're making your game crash. And what happens is when you install the game again, it's going to install all the files again into the crappy mess that is waiting here. And you just go in circles. You install the game again, you try to launch it, and the game is launching these buggy mods that are waiting in this folder. And guess what? It's like your problems are sitting in the folder and you install the fresh game into the problematic folder already with the problem files and the game is just launching the problem files again. That's why you have to delete everything. If you're uninstalling a set of Corsa, my advice is just don't uninstall it from Steam only. Just delete this folder at all and you'll be good to go. Delete this folder, delete the documents folder. This is how you make a fresh, clean install. You come here to Steam Maps, come on. You delete this folder, then you go to the documents and you delete the Zero Corsa folder. That's how you make fresh, clean install. And on top of that, if you really, really want to get rid of everything, even the content manager data, you go to uh, percentage app percentage, you go one folder backwards, you go to local, and here is your content manager folder. You have to delete this as well. If you want to delete and get rid of content manager as well. And the last thing that I want to talk about is pirated Assetto courses. Now, fellas, you see how many problems the original game has with mods. You can only imagine double the amount for the pirated Assetto Corsa. This game is cracked. It's coming with tons of incompatibility issues regarding all these mods because they're coded and made for the original game, not for pirated game. The pirated game is cracked, there's a lot of changes to it, and it has tons of bugs. So sorry fellas, but consider yourself doomed. I am not helping or trying to attempt to fix any more pirated games. And I wanna say this, if you watch the video till the end, Thank you very much, I really appreciate it and you have probably learned a lot about the game and how to fix stuff and the second is for the people that even after this video say that they can't fix stuff and so on, well bro, I mean there's nothing I can do to help you, uh, no offense but probably your computer knowledge is insanely bad, there's nothing I can do, it's like trying to help my own dad and explain stuff to him, he won't even understand. So my best advice is just let's start with the learning a bit about Windows and the computer and how to use it and then uh, bother about games and stuff like that. That's that for me. I'm trying my best guys to make very educational, simplified, understandable, unhelpful content so I can fix your problems without even being there personally. I really hope this helped you. For now, I want to thank all my supporters, YouTube members, Discord boosters, patrons. Thank you very much for all your support. We're working very hard on the project. Very soon we'll have our own servers. Make sure to also check out my second channel and subscribe to it. It has very cool and fun clips, uh, compilations. I'm doing a lot of uh, small short clips, mainly they are 30 seconds. I think you enjoy them. They're very fun. Uh, go check it out. For now, fellas, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Comment down below. Tell me your feedback. Did this help you? Like the video. It helps to grow and help more people. And subscribe to the channel because it will help me grow as well and uh, make more good stuff for you for now wish you all the best i hope this fixed your problem and uh, we'll see you in the next video fellas